Air traffic controllers frequently make many changes to your route of flight. With the FMC, you can easily change your flight plan route. Your route contains many waypoints. Here is an example of some changes you can do. Use the legs page to add, delete, and change the sequence of waypoints in your flight. To obey this clearance, you must delete Red Bluff from the route. Use the delete key to delete Red Bluff. Execute the modification. All waypoints except the active waypoint can be deleted with the delete key. A route discontinuity shows where the waypoint was deleted. A route discontinuity is two route segments that are not connected. Until the discontinuity is connected, there is no FMC course guidance after Rogue Valley and the airplane continues on the same course it needed to get to Rogue Valley. Oakland is the desired waypoint after Rogue Valley. Thus, to obey the clearance and connect the discontinuity, Put Oakland after Rogue Valley. Execute the modification. The discontinuity is now connected and course guidance is given after Rogue Valley. All of the waypoints below Oakland move up in the list. With this clearance, Red Bluff is the necessary waypoint after Rogue Valley. Put RBL on the line after OED. A route discontinuity also shows when a waypoint is added. This time, let's connect the discontinuity before you execute the modification. Oakland is the necessary waypoint after Red Bluff. The modified route is now the same as your clearance. Execute the modification. The waypoints below Oakland in the list move up the same as before. The delete key removes only one waypoint at a time and causes a route discontinuity. If more than one waypoint must be removed, there is an easier procedure. To obey this clearance, you could delete Red Bluff and Oakland using the delete key. A better way is to bypass these waypoints by moving Avenal up in the waypoint sequence. Move Avenal up the list and put it after Rogue Valley. Notice that if you bypass a waypoint and do not use the delete key, you avoid a route discontinuity. Now execute the modification. Red Bluff and Oakland are bypassed and removed from the route. The waypoints below Avenal move up. To obey this clearance, put in Katso after Rogue Valley. At times, your clearance may include a geographic location that is not in the FMC database. When this occurs, the message Not in Database is shown. Clear the Scratchpad message and clear CATSO. Waypoints not in the FMC database can be created by reference to other FMC waypoints. Three types of waypoints can be created by a reference to another waypoint. The first is the place bearing distance waypoint. The created waypoint's location is calculated from the location or place. A bearing from the place.
and a distance along the bearing. This is the format you type into the scratch pad to create the new waypoint. The new waypoint is made by the Lakeview 227 degree bearing, 88 nautical mile fix. The second waypoint type is the place bearing, place bearing waypoint. This created waypoint uses two reference waypoints and the bearing from each waypoint. The third waypoint type, the long track waypoint, is discussed in a different part of this lesson. Now let's go back to the example for Katso. You see from your aeronautical chart that CATSO is located on the 080 radial of the Sacramento VOR at 49 nautical miles. Make a place bearing distance waypoint for CATSO and put the waypoint into the route after Rogue Valley. Use the Sacramento VOR and remember to put a slash between the bearing and distance numbers. The FMC creates a five character name for the waypoint. It uses the first three letters of the reference waypoint followed by a two digit number. The first waypoint created from Sacramento is named SAC01. The second waypoint created from Sacramento would be named SAC02. Now let's use a different procedure to create the same waypoint. Erase the modification. From your chart, you see that CATSO is also defined as the intersection of the Sacramento 080 radial and the Linden 029 radial. Make a place bearing, place bearing waypoint for CATSO. Put in the Sacramento VOR and radial, followed by the Linden VOR and radial. Again, remember to use a slash between the two place bearings. The FMC identifies this new waypoint the same as the place bearing distance waypoint. The FMC always uses the first identifier put in to identify the waypoint. In this example, if Linden was put in first, then the waypoint is named LIN01. Erase the modification. Now let's discuss the along track waypoint. This type of waypoint is different because the reference waypoint must be part of the current active route. For along track waypoints, first put the reference waypoint into the scratch pad. You can line select it down or type it in directly. Then add a slash and the distance from the reference waypoint. For a long track waypoints put in before the reference waypoint, place a minus sign in front of the distance. Always put in an along track waypoint on the same line as the reference waypoint. 
the minus sign or no sign tells the FMC where to sequence the new waypoint. Now put in this along track waypoint. Enter this data into the correct line. Earlier, you put in new waypoints and made a route discontinuity. But since along track waypoints are part of the existing flight plan, a discontinuity is not made. Execute the modification. At times, the only waypoints available are specified by latitude and longitude. To make this waypoint, the latitude and longitude is put into the scratch pad. It can then be sequenced into the route the same as other waypoints. To demonstrate this, let's connect this route discontinuity. Put the latitude and longitude for Oakland into the correct line. For latitude and longitude waypoints, the FMC uses a seven character format with the first two digits of the latitude and the first three digits of the longitude. The FMC does not recognize this latitude and longitude waypoint as Oakland. A route discontinuity shows the same as with other new waypoints. The necessary waypoint after Oakland is Avenal. Connect the discontinuity. Execute the modification. ATC has instructed you to fly direct to Lakeview. To make a course direct to Lakeview, put LKV into the active waypoint line. The FMC computed direct course to Lakeview shows above LKV. Now connect the route discontinuity. Execute the modification. Now let's go back to your initial route and look at a different situation. ATC has instructed you to fly direct to Lakeview. The weather is bad and you want a different course to Lakeview. ATC has now given you a different course to Lakeview that you must intercept. To obey this clearance, you turn to a heading of 120. Next, put Lakeview into the active waypoint line as before, as if going direct to Lakeview. The FMC computed direct course is shown above Lakeview as before. You must change this course to agree with the clearance before you execute the modification. The FMC lets you put in a different intercept course to the active waypoint. Your clearance refers to the 350 degree radial of Lakeview. The reciprocal of the radial is a 170 degree intercept course to Lakeview. Put in the new intercept course into the intercept course line.
The intercept course now shows above Lakeview and on the intercept course line. Now connect the discontinuity. Execute the modification. Now let's look at another example. This time you will intercept a course to a waypoint that is already part of your route. Obey this clearance by moving Red Bluff into the active waypoint line. Any waypoint entered into the active waypoint line creates a direct course to that waypoint. This time the intercept course line is not empty. The FMC has preloaded a default course intercept. The FMC default intercept course is the original course to that waypoint. The preloaded default is displayed in small font. You can select this default course by pushing the line select key or you can enter a new course intercept as in the last example. To obey this clearance, you need to fly direct to Red Bluff. Take the necessary action. Usually, in-flight modifications to the route are made on the route legs pages, but the route pages can be used for some in-flight modifications. Select the route page. On the route page, route segments can be added and bypassed, but cannot be deleted. To add this route segment, put Lakeview on top of Avenal in the first two line. The FMC thinks the route segment is direct. If the clearance includes an airway, it must be manually put in here. Now put Red Bluff into the line after Lakeview. Execute the modification. Now let's look at a modification that is done best on the route page. Here is a clearance for two new airways to be added to the route. To begin, change the endpoint of J1 from Avenal to Red Bluff. Now insert the new jet airway. Continue. Now, connect the route with the new Victor Airway. Continue. Execute.